That's face. Awesome. That's awesome. So I, I did get something. That's yeah. great. You, you know, what I would have done for all of you is to get Sharpie Stone here. I would have brought you, had her bring your Mac here and take it home. So at least you would have had it for this one. Yeah, I thought about carrying it to I thought about carrying it to the And I could have carried it and used it here. And then, yeah. The other thing is, it's like when you're certain oh. that they saw me using my Mac. I guess I could have just said, well, I'm not prepared to travel and get it out of the Mac. Yes. But they actually, um, they packed for three weeks. Each one of them has nothing more than carry on the Mac. So they're traveling like ultra light. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. Oh, so they're with you the whole three weeks? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Libby's going to Skype him and get math lessons next week. Cool. Yeah, the guy's really being a nice guy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then we can weekend port of Iarda. Yeah, I, 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 I told the captain to get his friends like that. I like, canceled me. It's a cat five. It's a big cat five. I mean, yeah. Because you know, like, yeah, I'm a cat five. Yeah, we yeah. don't yeah. care about it. Well, yeah, anybody. But it missed it. They were lucky. I was back <laughs> They were lucky. Hey, folks. It's it's one minute after uh, one o'clock now, but we're going to wait a couple more minutes because it is right after lunch, uh, and it's a it, it's a short agenda. So we so it's not like we're really cramped for time. So we're going to start the blue sheets going around. So please sign the blue sheets, and we're actually. We'll start the agenda at about five past one. So I, I have to make this last a little longer. It, well, and when I got it, it was a compromise that was sold. Yeah, so I'm not too worried. No, that's how long ago was it? That's a few this one is, the model is um, late 2013. Okay. Yeah. Late 2013. Yeah. That's about my last year. I'm due for another reminder. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Yeah, so it's two years ago. <laughs> but, but but it still works fine and the official company image is is windows 7 and they gave me you know a windows 7 vm that all the company tools and, the, and it has the um the the corporate tunnel and everything because uh, because huawei is pc only right but everything works in the vm right see Put uh, disk encryption. So, well, it's like disk encryption. I'm using the Mac disk encryption. Right? Yeah, that's but their uh, their VPN client. Yeah, sure. But the disk encryption. Okay, so you actually have to run it. I get it one time on the Mac years ago. You have to run the disk encryption you have to inside the VM. Disk encryption inside the VM. <laughs> Oh, man. So slow. Yeah, they don't do that for for a while. If they if they didn't do that, that would be fine. Yeah. Yeah, so so all of my corporate stuff is in is in Windows. You know, all my corporate email and file system. Everything works in a Yeah, exactly. Everything for Huawei website. Safari. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
die. Yeah. Try to run it. Actually, the morning falls apart. And you get the nasty grams like two days later. <laughs> my teasing. We told you how they use some of our hand. <laughs> you brought our son. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Once I put your changes. Yes. It's done, right? Yeah, those changes and anything else that's coming from the ISG. Um, that was it. Well, fine. Yeah. So, so. No, no. So just make that change, and I think we're done. Okay. So make the change. Yeah. And send it to the draft, yes. Well, send what, it to the no, what you should do is I would send it to the guy and Deborah. Okay. And once he says it looks good, okay. then you upload it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, let's get started. My name is Andy Malice. I'm one of your co-chairs. The other co-chair is Stuart Bryant, who unfortunately was not able to join us in Yokohama for this meeting. So instead of Stuart joining me here up in front, we have Dave Sinecrope, who is our working group secretary, who's, who's assisting me up here. And normally, it would be Dave taking minutes and seeing as Dave's up here, Scott Mansfield, who's the fellow who's standing up over there, has and waving, um, has volunteered to take minutes in, in Dave's place. So we're all set. And we'll be monitoring Jabber as well. Um, so if there's anyone remote, uh, I don't see anyone remote in the Jabber room right now, but if there's anyone listening remotely or watching us on Meet Echo, um, we, we don't have incoming meet echo for this room. So if you want to ask any questions remotely, please log in to the PALS Jabber room and we are monitoring it so you can ask questions remotely. The other thing is for the minutes we're using Etherpad. And the cool thing about Etherpad is that all of you, if you want, can get onto Etherpad while you're sitting. And if you see anything that Scott misses or so on, you're free to to, to add it yourself as multiple people can work in Etherpad simultaneously. So um, with that, the first thing on the agenda, it's a short agenda as I said, I'll be showing you in a minute, is um, I'll be going through the working group status slide. So uh, why don't you move to the next slide, Dave? So this is the, the note well, this is Monday, and seeing as Monday, um, some of you may not have had a chance to read the note well yet, so I'm actually gonna leave it up for a minute just to give you, those of you who have not yet seen it a chance to look at it. Uh, basically what it says is this is a meeting that you're attending. Anything that you see that you see or do or otherwise participate at the meeting is really um, public information for use by the IETF. And, uh, and so by being here at the IETF meeting, you really are participating. And that includes hallway conversations and Anything else, okay? So this is the agenda, as I said, it's short. We have two items. This presentation is the first item. Then the second item will be the layer two VPLS Yang model, and that will be from Pratice uh, Brissett. And one thing I wanna notice, it, wanna point out is that should be draft SHA BESS MPLS L2 VPN Yang dash zero zero. We had a point to two an old draft right here, unfortunately. So that's actually draft dash sha dash bess B E S S MPLS L2 VPN Yang dash zero zero. And that has been corrected in the online agenda. So if you look in the online agenda, you'll see that that's correct. It's just incorrect in my slides. Um, so the objective for this presentation is to present the progress in terms of Yang modeling for layer twos. This includes both VPLS and VPWS 
And the reason that it's a best working group draft is that it includes both VPLS and EVPN. And, uh, and so basically because it has both EVPN, which is BGP based, and VPLS, which is LDP based, we flipped the coin and best one. So it's in the best working group. Okay. Um, we have no new RFCs since last meeting, but we're, by this time in, uh, at, the, at the next meeting of Buenos Aires, we expect a bunch. And the reason for that is, is that we've been working really hard on priming the pump. This has actually been keeping your working group chairs very busy um, and your area director very busy. So I think Deborah needs a big hand because she's been extremely busy working for us. So, so thank you, Deborah. And so we have uh, three drafts now in the RC editor's queue, as you can see. Um, PALS, MSPW protection, VCCE for GAL, and ICCP-STP, which originally actually um, was a PWE 3 draft. And we didn't bother changing it to PALS because it was in the IESG by the time that we, meet, that we made the, the changeover. And for those of you who are the authors, if you receive email from the RFC editor, please do your best to respond to the RFC editor quickly so that they can get their work done. And also keeping Deborah busy and the working group chairs as well, um, as well as the authors, because the authors sometimes need to do updates, is we have five more drafts that are currently under IESG review. Three of those need revised drafts. So for the authors of those three drafts, PEE tree, uh, MPLSTP MAC withdrawal, and redundancy SPE, uh, please get to work and get those updates done. and eat you already know exactly what needs to be updated. Um, so, so just go ahead and take care of that. Then we have two more that are being actively reviewed by Deborah, uh, PALS um, congestion considerations and RC4447 BIS. Now I've got a note on RC4447 BIS, which was kind of interesting. Um, as you all know, it was RC4447, which really got started with one of the very first things we did in the PWE 3 working group, which is the LDP based targeted signaling for pseudo wires. And what we want to do with this update, not only are we bringing it up to date in terms of including all of the um, errata and everything else that's come up over the years, but we've decided it's time to make it a full internet standard. And there's a process from making things internet standard. There's an RFC 6410, which spells out that process. And there are a number of different criteria that you have to meet in RFC 6410 in order to qualify for internet standards. So we're working with Deborah um, to show how the RFC meets the criteria in RFC 6410, so we can then get its, that it's a full internet standard status approved by the IESG. Now, one little wrinkle that's come up is that, as you know, um, RC4447 and BIS are all about targeted LDP signaling. Well, it turns out that LDP itself is not yet an internet standard. It's right now it's at the draft standard stage, which no longer exists um, because RC6410 got rid of the draft standard stage, but that's still where LDP sits. And so one of the things that I've been discussing with LOA and the chairs of the MPLS working group is to see if maybe they can get their rears in gear and get LDP itself brought up to internet, um, full internet standard. So Deborah, again, will be working with the chairs of the MPLS working group to see what we, what we need to do over in the MPLS working group to bring LDP up to internet standard. Because if that doesn't happen, then we'll need what's called a down ref in, in a 4447 BIS to when we refer to LDP, because LDP is a normative uh, reference, of course for 4447 BIS. So, so we'll see what happens there, but we'll be watching that with interest. And I think LOA is planning on um, discussing this at the MPLS session on Wednesday. Okay. Um, next, we have drafts that have completed working group last call. We have one of those 
um, PALS, VPLS, PIM, snooping. This actually passed L2 VPN working group last call, which shows you about how long ago it was that it actually went through working group last call. Um, the author has told me that he has some spe specific comments that he's received that he still needs to resolve with the author of the comments. So there may be some changes coming in the future for this draft, and a lot of time has passed and, and it may have faded a bit in people's memory. So we're strongly considering once we have a completed draft, um, rerunning a PALS working group last call for it as well, okay? Then we have drafts in working group last call. Right now we have none. However, that will change soon. Uh, we've been informed by the authors that the two drafts you see up here, um, MPLS TP OAM config and MPLS TP pseudowire over bidirectional LSP, are ready for working group last call. So Stuart and I will be running those um, probably starting next week. Okay, then uh, we have some other drafts that are that are working group drafts in various stages of progress. I asked authors for updates, and I got updates on two of them. Um, first of all, was uh, PALS MPLSTP dual homing protection and dual homing um, coordination. Those are from the same groups of authors. The authors report that um, they refreshed both drafts just before the cutoff prior to this meeting. Um, they, they, they do make plans to make updates in the next revision, and so they're working on that. But meanwhile, before they make those updates, they would like to um, solicit review comments from the working group. So I would like to really ask the working group, if you haven't had a chance, please read these two drafts, send comments to the authors, because they would really appreciate it. Um, next. We have four more drafts that are just basically working group drafts in progress. For each of these, I would like to ask if any of the authors just happen to be in the audience, if they have an update that they'd like to give the microphone first. Uh, Pals, endpoint fast protection. Any of the authors out there? Okay, do you have any comments for the microphone? Uh, go up to the mic. Uh, as a uh, one of the calls uh, for the endpoint uh, fast protection and also for the MC Pong protection, uh, yep. we will uh, update uh, to a new revision of the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And then we have two more uh, PALS LDP VPLS broadcast extension. Do we have an author in the room? Going once going twice, and finally, PALS Seamless VCCV. Again, any authors in the room? I'm not hearing any, let's move on. And that's it. Any questions, comments, suggestions before we move on to Patrice? Um, no, okay, thank you. Um, just before Patrice gets up and put up his slides, has, is there anyone in the room who has not yet signed the blue sheets? Everyone signed the, okay, yes, we need a blue sheet right there. The Movember was in touching. Hey guys, um, my name is Patrice Brisset. I'm working for Cisco. So I'm here today to present um, the work activity that we are doing for the Yang model regarding L2VPN and EVPN, I guess. Um, and actually, I just want to recorrect you for the for um, Imanchu's draft. It is no more MPLS in the name, actually. Okay, so uh, it's really an L2VPN, but we decided to take out the MPLS. Uh, the service can also be used for VXLAN and so on, other NCAP. And um, and as you said, the uh, the draft name has changed. So I mentioned you're going back to uh, version zero. <laughs> All right. That's okay. It. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of funny because the the best work uh, work group asked me to be super fast, and here they are asking me to be super slow. So um, and these slides won't cover any Yang detail because the request was to be fast. <laughs> All right, 
So let's move on. Don't worry about the 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so just uh, again, for the people who doesn't know, this is pretty much the list of guys uh, working and uh, with us on the Yang model, um, tons of people. Um, especially on the LTVPN side, the, uh, it's pretty crowded, but I think uh, teams are doing all right. Um, very good effort, and some are working very hard in this team. Um, regarding the VPN, it's a subset of that, um, but again, it's you can, uh, maybe it's, uh, 60 person and 40 person of those people. So um, just to give you an idea, this is uh, very well uh, covered by many different companies here. So it's, it's a good team effort. Um, to tell you again how this is uh, the way we are working, um, for the LTVPN, it's, it's every week because there's a lot of work to do. We are uh, focusing on the framework. Um, so every Wednesday, uh, we have that meeting. The AVPN is every two weeks. Um, this was less uh, to do, I guess, there. Um, and what we did also is, um, uh, what is very important also is the um, the approach that we are using. If you look at the current draft that are online, you will see there's not much in terms of uh, meat, right? But um, w w w our intent was to, um, is really to get the framework up and running. So now if you're telling me I don't see the MTU inside the bridge domain, yes, it's normal, okay? Uh, they don't worry, they're gonna come very soon. But we wanna make sure that people likes the framework itself. All right, so con configuration data is still, our, still the, uh, the focus and we're gonna move very quickly on the, uh, most likely on operational data next. Um, so you will see a lot of things happening uh, in the next few months. All right, next one. Okay, um, this is Imanchu. Uh, yeah, we put Imanchu's name for this draft of VPLS. Uh, I guess we flipped the coin and he won. <laughs> <laughs> no, which is, a, which is a joke, but um, yeah, before it was under the pause and PLS, we decided to move it to the best and, um, and also we take out the MPLS because our model will be applicable to any technology, including VXLAN encapsulation. Um, in Prague, we did explain, we did cover VPWS. We also explained the concept of an endpoint or virtual port. So if people have still question about, about that aspect, you can talk to anybody like Imanchu or myself. Uh, we'll be glad to help you to, uh, to explain you what this is, this concept. And today, this is all about VPLS. Okay, Imanchu? Yeah, uh, this is general subject. Um, oh yes, uh, Himanshu Shah from Siena. Um, so in this uh, d discussions about layer two stuff, you know, we haven't talked about attachment circuits and we have always uh, discussed saying that uh, we will take whatever the MEF and IEEE has decided. And uh, so until now that was, uh, that was um, okay, but I think I've been, hearing from other people also saying that, okay, you know, there's a big piece missing here, which is the L2 aspects of it. So how much we want to take it from there, how much we want to put it ourselves, uh, and how do we coordinate the whole thing is something we need to at some point discuss. The good news, we have Robert Wilton here in the room, so we have the right guy. He's the, uh, he's our interface guy, so. Yeah, so this is Robert Wilton. So just wanted to say that I'm already working on a draft in NetMod for addressing VLANs and Ethernet in terms of uh, classifying traffic to sub-interfaces or interfaces. And uh, I've, in terms of how that binds to this model, I was thinking it'd be nice if the attachment circuit was regarded as an interface. Um, whether that applies for all vendors, I don't know. Um, but I think that's the question that needs to be thought about here. We'll have to chat to you offline. Are you taking all the stuff from I, IEEE and MEF? Um, no, they, the IEEE are covering their models. So they're covering the 82.1Q um, bridge model. Um, and MEF aren't really defining this. I think in terms of what's being defined in ITF is the underlying technology that you could be used in MEF to define circuits. So the... So the plan is to 
take your work and then process it here or no it says no no, <laughs> no within netmod I, think. I don't think it, it actually fits directly in here because again in terms of what i'm trying to do is it's more generic it doesn't just apply to ltvpns it applies to l3 as well is that uh, is that uh, so this is maybe this is a question for deborah is is this a general generic work that applies to all the working group and which working group should process that info or how does that work? Because I think that's an important piece. We are carrying the layer two services over the MPLS network. And then there is a, so much variations of what is the L2 services, right? Um, what is an attachment circuit for all kinds of different, you know, for EPL, EVPL, um, We've already, the, the routing area with the ops have already decided that if it's technology specific, it would be done in the working group that has that expertise, so. Uh, yes, so I, I don't think VP, um, VLANs, for example, are technology specific. I mean, in terms of they're not specific to L2VPNs. Is that, does that answer your question? Or do you mean why is it not being done in IEEE? Can you say repeat it? They they're doing the VLAN bridge model. They're not doing an interface based model. Karen, come come here. Go. So I think uh, Helen Chen. I think there is a plan to cover L two. Um, models in IEEE. It's just that currently it's not complete. Just to compliment, yes, uh, they had experienced a problem with the shortage of Yang expertise and they're moving slowly. So I think so the dot one q working group do have um, a VLAN model. The draft model available for doing bridge, um, doing um, dot one key bridges. They don't have a model for mapping that to interfaces as such. So unless you think that they're going to do work on that as well. So what I know is that they're soliciting feedback on how to adapt to L2 services. Okay, maybe I'll chat to you offline. Yeah, uh, yeah, you should talk to her or the people who are doing some work in other standards bodies. We want to make sure that it's an all-inclusive or it, at least it's not conflicting with their work. Otherwise, uh, we will have a lot of problems. I already am. <laughs> I already am. <laughs> okay. Thanks. That's all. All right. Thank you. Um, okay. And also, just to let you know that, okay, since we came out with the VPLS, the, sorry, the VPWS model in Prague, and now we have the VPNS, um, we made it on purpose to have two distinct models. Right, and and we're gonna merge that actually this week. So, um, and why we've done this is uh, just to simplify our work so people can follow what we are doing. And but you're gonna see that if you look at the VPWS and the VPLS, they are so close. It's gonna be very very trivial for us to merge that together. And after that, we're gonna beef it up. We're gonna put everything that all the bits and bytes for the the features on it. Yeah, just, just one more point on, on what we were just talking about. Um, Deborah brought up a good point. Perhaps the Yang coordination pages should note what's going on in the other venues, like IEEE on, on uh, VLAN, so that there's no confusion about who's doing what and whether there's any overlap. So if I it can, maybe I can work like switching hats to the to the Yang coordination hat. Um, maybe I could talk with a few of you offline and we can get some of that recorded on the wiki. Okay. Is that wiki maintained by everyone? Because last time I put my stuff there, it was pretty light. And I'm not sure if it, if it reflect the whole the activity. It is maintained. It's it is maintained, maintained by okay. the game model authors. Okay. And the coordinators. All right. I don't know if you all are aware or not, but at the hackathon on Saturday, they, they actually were doing a Yang catalog and it's going to be across all the SDOs. It will catalog all the different Yang models going on. So people are interested in 
what's going on in other SDOs, that's, that's, uh, that will be a place for it. Okay. All right. Well, I don't want to duplicate that work then. Yeah. Yeah. We'll point to that catalog. Deborah, are we hosting that catalog, you know, or is it being hosted elsewhere? Okay. Very good. All right. So we can move on. Um, do I need to go through VPN, even though they are not related to balls or we can, anyway, just quickly. Um, go back? yeah, please go back. Just one, we're just going to go very quickly on this. For VPN, there was nothing presented in, in Prague. Now we have the first model out. You're going to see it's very, very light, but again, it's a framework. And the idea is to connect the dots with the merging model that we're going to get this week. So, um, and then beef up with more the uh, business bytes for the EVPN on the feature side. Um, also, we did separate the two modules from the Ethernet Signal Manager and the EVPN service itself. So that's what for the EVPN model. Next slide. Um, there's also other activities happening right now where we are trying to, um, actually we are trying to come out with an L2 Yang architecture informative draft, uh, just at least so people ask common background or understanding, um, sometimes just on the, on the terminology. Um, there's so many different, uh, well, you saw the list at the beginning, there, were, there are so many different people from everywhere. Sometimes we're talking about the same thing, just using different terms, or just we are like drawing dif different uh, pictures, but all the pictures meant the same. So we decided that we're gonna come up with kind of a, I don't know, uh, a cookbook or something that's gonna help people to understand what we are seeing here. Next slide. L3 VPN, um, yeah, you can skip that. Actually, we're going to talk about it in best. And VXN. I just have a question about that. Sorry? That's being done in L3 SM though, right? For the, no, actually it's two things. L3 SM is the service model. Right. What we are working is more device model. Okay. Okay, so service world is going to use the, um, our model. Also, we've been, um, just let you know, we've been also um, talking with the um, open config folks about our model. So they are right now reviewing what Iman Shu and myself has here. So, so at least we can align them. But these guys are, they told me that they haven't started really looking at it or thinking about L2 yet. So we are one step ahead. So hopefully they can join us on the effort. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, yeah, so VXN, that's gonna be, uh, um, some people approach me to start something on that front as well. So if you have any interest, please uh, ping me. We'll see where we are. Patrice, did did you mean NVGRE there? Um, I mean, no, I put it in more in generic terms. I don't know yet. I actually, I've been asked about three days before I was coming here. So when I was in the plane doing those slides, I put it down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Matthew has a question. Yeah, Matthew Bocci. Um, if you're going to start something on VXLAN and MVE, you might want to also sort of discuss it with the MVO3 working group as well, because there's some young models floating around in, in that working group, probably relevant to this. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, actually, yes. So anyone who knows something about it, please let me know. So I will, I, I don't know what's going on there, honestly. All right, next slide. Um, okay, yeah, so please go through those, uh, those young model. If you don't understand anything about the concepts, the framework, please uh, contact me or anybody else on the list or email you. It's very important because we're going to merge the models very soon, and and we want to make sure that people um, feel that this is the right things to do. All right, next one. Okay, that's it. So this is for best. Thank you. Okay. Before we break up. Is there anyone who has not yet signed the blue sheets? Okay, we need a blue sheet right over there. And Prayson needs a blue sheet, I think. Is that Prayson? No, it's not. But but down that way. It is now, yeah. Um, and any other questions, comments? Yeah. Hey, Himanchu. Yes, uh, Himanchu from. So I know we didn't talk about the OAM stuff but there was a considerable amount of work done in the past or the pseudo-wire group about the OAM interworking. 
and I think that at some point uh, we we need to cover that in the in the Yang model. Um, there is a if if not configurational aspect, maybe at least the state related uh, Yang model information needs to be worked out. So maybe uh, yeah, maybe at some so this that should be covered in our group here, right? Right. And again, the L2 part of it, like CFM and uh, whatever the other layer 2 OM stuff is there, mm -hmm. the interworking of that. So that also has to be worked in, worked into this draft. We have to make a, yeah. G, are you planning on including uh, VCCV as well? Yes, I think uh, that's uh, something that uh, we have to take up. Yes, yes, VCCV related parameters and all yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, any other comments, questions about anything at all having to do with PALS? If not, you're free to, uh, to enjoy your afternoon. Thank you all very much. Go to the desk out there. Go No, 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 no. Stuart said, mm -hmm. you find it. Maybe he just uh, have no time to look at our email. No, 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 no. So Stuart said at the very end, um, yes, my, yes, yes. He's, uh, I've heard nothing. So I assume this is the acceptable way forward. So Stuart's saying number one is the answer. Yes. yes. So just update the draft uh, so that so that number one is reflected in the draft. Right. So 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 choice one, which is. This one right here. I'll leave the draft as is, but add text to describe the constraint. What happens if you have to change mode? Yes, I have, what to do about it? I have a other paragraph. Yes. So, so just add that mm -hmm. and yes. update it, and it's done. Yeah. So I just uh, want to uh, make sure he can accept uh, the proposed uh, text. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, you were saying to say it's uh, okay? Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So that's all you have to do. Yeah, then we can we can update it uh, pretty soon. Right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yep. So all to do is make that change, 
and update it, and we'll take care of it. Like, you know, sure. Uh, <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> exactly. Okay, great. Yeah. It's uh, still in the in the radio uh, stage. Yeah. I don't have much I require. I know. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, thanks. Say again? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? When is the routing meeting? The routing area meeting? Let me look at my calendar. Okay. 320. Yes, that, that's where I'm going to next. Yeah, here it is. Routing area working. Routing area open meeting. That's 501. Okay, so the minutes are in the ether pad. You could. There's also um, the transport work group is meeting right now next door, and they're actually doing some interesting things with um, the transport working group, the transport area working group. No, they're they're doing some interesting things with um, with congestion management for real time services and and circuit breakers. Yes, we are done. We finished early. No. Um, it was a combination of things. <laughs> no, no, no. He's he'll he's continuing. There's a switch here somewhere. I'm 